All right, all right, all right, everyone. My name is Sekio Tango, and welcome back to Stardew Valley. And let's go ahead and jump straight into the action, everyone. And that's actually something we're probably going to be doing every episode. So, weather report. Welcome to Kozu 5, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. And now for the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to rain all day tomorrow. Oh, that's perfect, actually. We don't have to water the crops tomorrow. But we do need to water them today. Fortune teller? Ah, yes. I can hear the spirits whispering something to me. The spirits are very happy today. They will do their best to shower everyone with good fortune. Oh, that is excellent. And now let's go ahead and get some crops in the ground. Oh, actually, we got some mail. All right. Advertisement. I keep finding cool stuff when my backpack is full. Does this sound like you? Well, Pierre's got you covered. Stop by Pierre's General Store today and check out our affordable size 24 backpack. See you soon. Well, I do our best. Oh, there's more mail. Hello there. Just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you. From Willy. Oh, yes. Freaking yes. All right, we can start fishing today, actually. Someone named Willy invited you to visit the beach south of town. He says he has something to give you. So visit the beach south of town before 5 p.m. All right, cool. Well, anyways, uh, we got some... So we got some bean starters and potato seeds, which means we can start tilling the soil over here. Uh... Uh, that's not exactly what I wanted. Hmm. So let's see here. Two, three, four, five. Oh. Come on, come on. Hey. Right. And got it. And we got some seeds. Let's go ahead and plant these things. All right. Cool. And we got some potatoes. Now, we actually do have enough money to get another bean starter, so I'm going to go drop by Pierre's and put that seed in the ground, and I'll be right back. Okay, so all the seeds are in, everything's watered. I did a little bit of clearing here, but that's really about it. And something I should let you know is that we really haven't got to, ex we haven't really gotten to explore this farm a little bit. So we got a cave here, it's got something here. There's got to be something going on with that one. I know there is for sure. Let's see what else we got. We got some... We got some stuff. We got a greenhouse here. We got a greenhouse. You know, now I think about it, we definitely should do a little bit more clearing as we try to explore this farm. I did put away a few tools, but that was really about it. Let's see here. Gotta get a scythe. Cool. Just in case. You never know. Um, let's see. So, yep. Greenhouse, like I said. Got some paths. A lot of paths, actually. I mean... Yeah, but that's really about it. A little... I'm not sure... Oh, Jesus. It's gonna be really hard for you to access, actually. Hmm. And I'm just slowly running out of energy, as usual. Over here... This really can't... Is there anything in my way? Oh. Okay, there was something in my way. Okay. Anyways, we do got something over here. What is this? Echo Tango, wait for my return on the dawn of your third year. Grandpa. So it's almost like a shrine of sorts, maybe. I'm not sure. But let's see what else we got. And yep, yeah, as you can tell, I didn't really get to mention the river, but yep, yeah, that's the river. Eventually, I need to put all this away. Ooh, we got something else. Probably another uphill here. That's really about it. Another rock that I can't pass. So it's really hard to navigate. Yeah, that's kind of like the downside of these places. It's really hard to navigate, so you kind of have to make your way around places. But yeah, that's the general layout of things. There's probably- I probably missed something back here. I don't know. But you know what? I kind of like just wandering around a little bit. Oh, there's another bridge over here. Oh, look at that. Yeah, there is something over here. Uh... But what? I'm just trying to make my way through. And... oh, would you look at that? We have some sort, some sort of, some sort of big area where we can mine lots of, oh, wow. 
Oh, see, really, the really good thing about the hilltop farm is that you can actually do some mining, which is really nice. And so we actually got ourselves some geos. Oh, would you look at that? You found a geo. The local blacksmith can break it open for you. Who knows what might be hidden inside? Right, who knows? Who knows? Anyway, let's just go ahead and mine up some of this. I'm actually getting some copper ore here, which is nice. I also see some worms in the ground. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. I have a lot of stuff now. I, I gotta put this away. Oh, Jesus. You know, I realized we have to make our way over to, um... We do have to make our way over to... Oh, what's his name? Oh, I'm not sure if... Oh, dang it. You know, I kind of feel bad now because I'm not sure if I have enough time to do it. But let's see. Let's see. Let's, let's see what happens. I don't know. If we don't, you know, I'm starting to think we're running out of time here, unfortunately. We'll try to get back tomorrow. Ooh, is Oh, but I did find the way out this way through the farm. Let's hope we can meet some new people. Or hopefully we have to give it to... Actually get actually go by, go by our friend of ours we met last time. Leah, hopefully. So this is someone's house. It's like a ranch of some sort, so I'm not sure whose home this is. Actually, I do know whose home this is. It's Marty's. I haven't met Marty yet. But hopefully, we'll get to meet her. And this, I've heard, is Leah's cottage. It's locked. Only Leah's friends can enter uninvited. Dang it! Aw, oh, man. Oh, well. That's alright. At least I could try to visit pe uh, some other people other places. Hello. Who are you? Who are you? Hey, come. Oh, a stranger. My name's Vincent. Well, hello, Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Well, that's good to hear. And you must be... Jazz. You don't say much. Hi. Hi, Jazz. And so this must be your home. Uh, Vincent. Sorry, I'm gonna... I'm afraid I'm gonna forget these names. You have a very nice home. I, I shouldn't be barging in like this, but you have a very nice home. Cool. Alright. I should probably go. I shouldn't be barging in like this. Alright, let's see. Let's see what else we got. This must be... So there's this pretty girl over here. I think her name is Haley. And I understand that Haley and Emily are sisters. Let's go say hey to, hi to Haley, because we haven't said hi before. Oh, you're that new farmer boy, aren't you? Yes, I am. Huh? Oh, I'm Haley. Well, nice to meet you, Haley. Hmm, if it weren't for those horrendous clothes, you might actually be cute. Well, that's too bad, isn't it? Yeah, you don't- you're not the person I'm not really interested in, so it doesn't- I don't really care about you. Alright, let's move on. Yeah, it is 6.40pm, so it's a shame I didn't get to see Willie. Ooh. Wait, come back! Hi! I'm Sam. Good to meet you. Well, nice to meet you too, Sam. Alright, that's all I want to say. Alright, that's cool. That's cool. Alright, we're still meeting new people. And also, you might notice my energy bar is very low. Oh well. That's too bad, isn't it? Yeah, I did... I don't know if I... I did chop a tree earlier, and I did have to clear out some of that space just to get through and see, see some things. That's really all there is to it. Sadly, okay, I'm gonna promise myself I'll make it down here by 5pm next time. So you're Willy. Ahoy there! It's nice to see young folk moving into the valley. It's not very common these days. True. Well, I uh, hope I will get to know you a bit more, Willie, especially when I come to visit you before 5 p.m. That's on me. I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I'm just trying to make my way around, you know, get myself more familiarized with this land. There's not a whole lot there to it. Uh, let's hope. I want to see. Oh, hello. Who are you? Er, uh, hi, I'm Clint. Well, hello, Clint. I'm the town blacksmith. If, you're, if you ever need to upgrade your tools, I'm your guy. Cool. You look like you're heading to the saloon. I shall go in. Eh, I see y'all. Same, same kind of people. Yeah, I saw those people yesterday. Nothing really new to it, but we'll, all, we'll always go ahead and say hi to the people. What? What do you want? Go away. Sheesh, Shane. Not much of a talker, are you? Alright, let's say hi to Pam again. Hey, Gus, give me another round, Nick. <laughs> Alright. Hey, Gus. 
Hi, please relax and enjoy yourself. Okay, I'll try my best. Hey, Emily. I work part-time at Gus's Saloon. It pays the bills. Sure does, doesn't it? Alright, let's go on. So, we've, we've seen all we wanted to see here. Now, that's really all there is to it. We haven't really gotten to explore the rest of the town as much, so let's try to do some of that. Continue to get ourselves acquainted with this town. Hmm. Yep, so this is the library, I believe. Ooh, a daffodil. Perfect. It's locked. Open 8 to 6. Yep, I thought it would be a, I thought it would be closed. Alright, let's see. We got a blacksmith. Yep, Clint locked up for the night. He closes at 4. So we gotta get in fast. Man, time really goes by fast here, doesn't it? Let's see what else we got. Joja Mart. Ugh, disgusting. I prefer not. I'll just briefly take a look around. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I do not plan to do any sales here whatsoever. These people are not good. Not good for the local community here, let me just say that. You do have the option to do a membership. I am not going to do it. So, that's that. Alright, what else do we have? Ooh, another daffodil. Oh, I love, look at all these daffodils we're getting, man. You can easily make some good money just by foraging. And I really like that. Let's see, what else? Oh, hello, wait, 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 who must you be? Hold on! Ah, man, he got in. I think that was Sebastian. I haven't met Sebastian yet, I just know his name. And that's really about it. Is there anything else? Got some bridges here, great place to do some fishing. And that's it, okay. So, cool. Well, these are definitely some good fishing spots. This is a big lake where you can fish in, that, from what I've heard. Pretty nifty indeed. But there's someone up there in the tent. There's a guy here trying to clear out that mess in front of the caves, I believe. Oh, there is a wild horseradish. Wait, hold on a second. Is that a... I have a silver-ranked daffodil. Oh, wow, that's pretty nice. Unfortunately... I am out of space! Oh, I gotta get rid of something. So, you know what? I'm gonna put this in the trash. I don't need it. And pick this up. Wild horseradish. Let's go in here. Can I go in? I can go in. Hello. Oh, he's sleeping. Okay, I don't want to bother him. I think that's Linus. He's the town hermit. But that's okay. I'm perfectly fine with that. We're gonna go say, we'll try to say hi to him another day when he's awake. Ooh, another horse radish. Wow, lots of foraging items. Another wild horse radish. That's awesome. Oh man. Awesome indeed. Anyways, we gotta go ahead and put some of this stuff away. I remembered I did have my waters crop, so I don't have to worry about that. Uh let's see, is there anything I wanna go ahead and sell? Let's go ahead and sell both of those daffodils. Um, let's go ahead and put some of this stuff away. We're gonna need... Oops, dang it. We're gonna need those tools for tomorrow. I may as well sell one clam and one horseradish and one daffodil. You know, just to make some quick money as usual. Alright, cool! And then go ahead and sell. Okay, and now let's go ahead and get ready to go into bed. And we'll meet for the next, and we'll meet again tomorrow. Go to sleep for tonight. Alright, level one foraging. Plus one axe proficiency. Trees sometimes drop seeds. New crafting recipe, some wild seeds. Oh, that's awesome. And new crafting recipe, field snap. Perfect. Let's see how much money we made. Foraging, 200 gold. Wow, that's pretty awesome. And I'm actually going to go ahead, every episode from now on will be, what, two days? Two days, unless specified. So let's go ahead to the next day. Alright, it's a new day, and it is raining, so we don't have to worry about watering crops. Alright, so weather report. I'm with Kozu 5, forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Alright. Oh, no, no, no. Keep, keep the TV there. Fortune teller. Alright, come to the right place. The spirits are somewhat mildly perturbed today. Luck will not be on your side. Well, that's, that's kind of sucks, doesn't it? 
Anyways, we do have another. We do have a whole day ahead of us. It is. Oh. Uh, hi there. Good morning. Well, good morning to you, Clint. I noticed that you've been breaking some rocks open and finding ore. That's good. Yeah, I got I got a big hill where I can mine. I like that. If you want to get the most out of your ores you find, you'll need a furnace. All right. Just so happens I had an extra set of blueprint blue, uh, blueprints lying around. Here, I want you to have them. Ah, oh, awesome! I got myself a furnace. Learned how to craft a furnace. Well, thank you, Clint. The furnace allows you to smelt, melt, me, smelt metal bars. The bars can be used for crafting, construction, and tool upgrades. When you've smelted a few copper bars, consider having me upgrade one of your tools. It can make your work a lot easier. I will definitely consider that. Well, okay, I'm heading home. Take it easy. I will. I will. Alright, anyways, let's, because we, there's some things we don't need today, let's go and put some of these stuff away. I will, I want to give this daffodil to Leah. I want to gift her something. I really, really do. Um, is there anything else that I should consider? I don't think so. Alright, well, hmm. I do have 200 gold. I could get some more crops. I don't know. I would like to save up some more money, though. Let's go ahead and check back on the big hill over there, see if anything... Like, see if anything new's happening. Oh, wait, where'd it go? Wait, where'd it go? I can't remember. Oh, it's back here somewhere. Come on, come on. How did I even get back here? Oh, here we go. Found it! Found the path! That's pretty cool. Yeah, those worms are still there, but spirits are mildly perturbed. I'm not going to go ahead and worry about those worms right now. Alright, uh, let's go ahead, go back out to town, see if we can meet new people, see if I can give my gift. I really want to start giving people gifts. I really do. But, uh, from the looks of it, people are just want to stay home inside, and yeah. Yeah. It's locked. Open 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Dang it. Okay. Well, that's actually a perfect opportunity for us to go to the beach. And hopefully, Willie has something good to give to us. You never know. Hey, Shane. Hand to work. I want to say hi. Hmm, this weather makes me thirsty. Oh, I'm sure it does. Well, see you around, Shane. Ho hope you have a good day. It's actually the third day I've talked to him in a row. Pretty impressive. Also, I notice it's Wednesday, which means Pierre's shop, Pierre's shop is closed. But here we are, at the beach. Ahoy there, son! Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet you. Well, we met yesterday, Mr. Willie. But now we actually have to formal introductions this time. Ah, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out in the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Well, that's good for you, Willie. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. Maybe. I hope we can be good business partners. And we got ourselves a rod. You've received a bamboo pole. Awesome. There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> That's what my old happy used to say anyway. Alright, will do. Will do, Willie. Will do. Yeah, we do have a good ocean here. So now he's, look at him, he's fishing. Some fish come and go with the seasons. Others only come out at night or in the rain. So it's a perfect opportunity. But anyways, let's go ahead and give her try, give her try at fishing. I'm not entirely sure how this works though. But it, spears are mildly perturbed, so I'm not expecting anything good really today. We'll see. Hmm. Wait, was I supposed to? Uh. Yeah, I'd have to hold down that bar. I'm not sure how this works. I literally don't know how this works. Come on, any day now. So it... Okay, click to raise... Oh. Come on. Click to raise the bar. Raise. 
No. Raise it. Raise it. Come on. Oh, no, no, no. He's jumping. He's jumping. Ah. All right. We got a fish. That's our first fish. A sunfish. Perfect. You know, I could technically fish all day. It actually makes some good money from this. We'll do our best. We'll, I'll go, probably go, go ahead and catch a few more rounds of fish, and then we'll see what happens next. Gotcha. Whoa. That's a big fish. Well, anyways, I think I've done enough fishing for today. Um, so anyways, let's go around back. Hopefully we get to see some people. Oops, sorry. So this, can I, can I go in? Oh, so this is Willy's, Willy's, Willy's fishing chat, I don't know, f fishing store. I can't talk to him. Well, actually, let's just go ahead and see what he sells. So anyways, bamboo pole sells for 500 and trading rod sells for 25. A lot easier to use than other rods, but you can only catch basic fish. You know what? That's okay. That's perfectly okay with me. How much does each fish sell? Holy cow! That flounder sells for 25, 125, and that's a silver standard. You know, I don't know yet. I'm not sure. If I, I'm probably gonna maybe keep one or two of these fish and sell the rest. I'm not sure. Ooh, I just saw Sebastian down there. We actually haven't met him yet, but I do know his name. I'm gonna go ahead and say hi. Hello. The ocean is best enjoyed alone. Don't you think? Well, I guess so. The ocean is best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you told me that. Well, anyways, it's good to meet you, Sebastian. Makes it sound like we've met before. I don't ever remember him meeting him before. Hmm, interesting. Another clam! Man, we're fighting a lot of clams these days, aren't we? Oh! Make that two clams! And an oyster! And another clam! Like I was saying! Wow! It's locked, only Elliot's friends can enter uninvited. So this is where Elliot lives. We have not met Elliot, unfortunately. Hopefully we can meet some more people. I don't... Sounds like it's kind of really getting tough. You know, let's go ahead and check. I just realized I haven't checked this. If you're going to keep mining, you should build a furnace, craft a furnace. We've met. Okay, we still have six other people to meet. Ooh, another daffodil. Man, we're running out of inventory space. We're going to need to get that backpack upgrade eventually. Here's a library. We haven't been here before. Hello. Hello there. Welcome to the Stardew Valley Archaeological Office. Uh, this is embarrassing, but the previous curator made off with the entire collection. We don't have any artifacts for display, but I'm hoping to remedy that soon. Hey, if you find any artifacts or minerals out there, please you let me know. Oh, well, alright. We got a book here. There's a book missing here. Uh, wait. Can I not read the thing? Anyways, hello, Penny. The raindrops are really loud on the metal roof of our trailer. Okay. It's soothing, though. Well, that's good to hear. Well, I hope you have a nice day, Penny. We never really got to explore the library as much, but yep, this is where we would store everything that we would like to donate. And hopefully there'll be some rewards we can get. You never know. Alright, thank you. Thanks for meeting you. What's your name again? Forgot. Come on. Gunther, that's your name. Sorry. Gunther. I'm gonna try to remember that. There are a lot of names for me to remember. Alright, uh, yeah, I've seen this. Alright, let's go. Okay, come on. I just want to give some gifts. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, Clint locks up. Clint locks up pretty early. Hopefully, there'll be someone at the saloon. I don't know. Man, it's so hard just to get around sometimes. You know, we actually haven't been up to that one building. Ugh. It's actually where Robin lives. Robin and, her, and, and their family. Oh, I already said hello to Shane for today. Why is it- I don't know why I feel so hard to navigate this whole place. And I probably am on the wrong side of the river. Well, that's okay. Here I am. Yep, I was on, on the very wrong side of the river. But, I was. Come on. Just let me get up. Ooh, another daffodil. Perfect. I love daffodils. Well, lots of gifts to give. Well, at least people who like daffodils. Which is, not, which is actually not a whole lot of people, from what I've heard. Okay, let's see here. All right, here's the place. I can go in, and there's a guy I haven't met yet. His name is Demetrius, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, there's Robin. Greetings, I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. Well, nice to meet you too, Demetrius. 
I'm studying the local plants and animals from my home laboratory. Have you met my daughter Maru? She's interested to meet you. I have, in fact. In fact, I've met both your kids, Maru and Sebastian. Sebastian I actually just met today. Hello, Robin. Have you met everyone in town yet? That sounds exhausting. Yeah, it's kind of exhausting, but it's a work in progress. It's a work in progress. It was nice to get to see you. Nice to talk to you, Robin. And by the way, thanks for, um... Thanks for helping me settle in. It really means a lot. I know you made you crack some jokes there. I know there are jokes. That's okay with me. I mean, Mayor Lewis doesn't seem to mind. But, you know, but you know what? I do. Or actually, no. I think it's the other way around. I th uh, dang it, I messed up my words there. Words, they can be really tough. And this is where Sebastian lives, but I can't enter his door yet because I barely know anyone. I just want to... Uh, why is it so hard to get to talk to people? I just want to... It is raining. Anyways. Hello, you must be a Linus. A stranger? Hello. Don't mind me, I just live out here alone. Oh, that's okay, Linus. I might be out here too sometimes. Alright, nice to meet you, Linus. Alright, let's move on. Hopefully there will be people down in the, uh... What's it called again? The saloon? I really want to talk to people in the saloon. That's all. That's all I want to do. There's still so many people I haven't even met yet. Ugh. Man, why is this so hard? Wait, actually happened? Let me let me see. Let's check. Introductions, 24. Okay, so you still have four people. Four people. Also, is there anything new? I don't think there is anything new. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay. Oh, hello, Abigail. The valley looks more interesting in the rain, don't you think? And it does, actually. It has, has that nice charm to it. Alright. Oh, yes! A lot of people! Hello, Willy. I need a little warm up to be ready for another cold night on the ocean. Alright, sounds good. Oh, you, you just said that. Uh, hello, Clint. Hey, what do you need? Not much. And you, but you look, you must be Harvey. Yes, you are. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. Well, that's good to hear. I hope you'll find your own work equally rewarding in time. Oh, well, I sure hope so too. Anyways, yes, I can finally say hi to Leah. Hello, Leah. This morning I accidentally stepped on a bug. Oh. Should I be, should I feel bad about every time I've stepped on a bug? Sometimes accidentally, sometimes purposefully. Oh, I don't know. You, maybe you guys can answer that for me in the comments below. I don't know! I don't know! Now I feel bad about life. Anyways, I want to give you something. Thank you. I just want to say, Leah, thank you for... <laughs> for giving me a very warm welcome the other day. I mean, you are you're one of the first girls I actually talked to. And you know what? You seem really nice. And I hope we could get to know each other. So I want to give you something. This is a really nice gift. Thank you. Well, I'm glad you enjoy it, Leah. Hey, let me go ahead and go ahead and say hi to the rest of the patrons, all right? All right. Hey, fam. <sighs> hey, kid. You're too young to be moping around in a place like this. I am? Uh, you, you just said that. Well, you know what? Sometimes I just gotta wind down, you know, and settle down in the saloon, have a few drinks, have maybe some meals. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, Gus. Good evening. Can I get you anything? Uh, no thanks. I'm actually fine. Hey, Emily. It never rains in Calico Desert. That's where my friend Sandy lives. Well, whenever I get a chance to visit her, I'll make sure I'll say hi, alright? I wish I could have visited her today. Aww. Yeah, that'd be nice. Alright, anyways, let's see who else we got. Shane! Nice to see you again, Shane. He doesn't seem to be talking. Well, actually, I already talked to him today, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, we still have a bunch of other things to do. Wait, what's this? Journey to the Prairie Green. Wait. What?! Am I- am I doing something? Oh, okay. Wait. Wait, what am I do- wait, what's this here? I didn't- I don't remember the instructions! What are the instructions? Oh! Oh, I'm supposed to do shoot like that! Oh, so this is interesting. Okay, well that's something I need to get used to. Huh. I'm already down to one health. Space is- Lightning. Okay, 
Okay, now they're attacking again. Oh, jeez. Coffee. 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 I'm getting quartered. I'm getting quartered. Ah, oh, I died. Oh, well. Well, that's interesting. Oh, I still have some life in me. Oh, Jesus. No, no, get away. Get away. Stay back. Stay back. Man, this is hard. I need to get used to this. And the shooting shooting mechanic is really weird. I died. That's all right. Well, you know what? This is not necessarily something for me to get into yet. I just want to try it out. What's this? There's a skull-shaped keyhole. Okay. What's this? No, I'm not buying a Joja Cola. All right, anyways, we should probably start heading back to the farm. I'm going to need all my energy. I don't know. Maybe do a little more fishing? Fishing was fun. I like that. I really like that indeed. All right. Anyways, let's go home. All right, so I'm back on the farm. Let's go ahead and put some of this fish away. I need to organize my stuff, that's for sure. You know what? I think I want to do this setup for next time. Debating what I should keep around. I feel like, I don't know, that sardine... I'm gonna go ahead and sell this. You know, sell something, sell something each. I don't know, I think that's what I wanna do. Let's go ahead and, I'm sorry, all right. Put everything in here, cause I wanna go ahead and sell all that. I think we might have enough time to do some fishing. I don't know, I never tried river fishing before. Let's see if I can access the, uh, the river down here. Aha, here we go. I hope I hope this river yields fish. If it does it, I'm gonna be really sad. I just want, I just want to see. That's all. I just want to see. Come on. Ah, broken glasses. Ah, oh, come on. Well, that trash will actually will have some use in the future. I just want to see if I can get a fish. That's all. That's all. Come on. Come on, fish. I got a fish! I got a fish! 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 I want you! Yes! Whoa, that's a big fish. 14 inches. Wow, look at that. Let's go for another one, since why not? Come on, we could get another fish. Yeah, this will be a perfect place for me to do river fishing. I don't have to leave the farm for river fishing, which is really nice. Any day now. And I got driftwood. You know what? That's okay. Let's go ahead and bin all this. I feel like bream is something I can easily get from this river anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and bin it. Um, trash. I'll just I'll just go ahead and keep around the trash. That that will have use later. But anyways, let's go ahead and. Then the bream, get some money from it, and let us go to bed for tonight and see how we did today. All right. Ooh, level one fishing. Yeah, I love that. Plus one fishing rod proficiency. That's awesome. All right, and this is how we did today. So we got 30 gold from foraging, 185 gold from fishing with all the fish we made. Look at all that. That's pretty cool. And we made a total of 215 gold. So yeah, we're starting to make some money, which is good. Hopefully we'll be able to buy that backpack upgrade. And some other crops. Hopefully I can be able to get some cauliflower down in the ground. Because that because that's important. Get some more money and be able to have some good use for it. But anyways, that is all the time I have today. So thank you, for, thank you guys for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, drop a like down below. Let me know how I'm doing. And if you want to see more of my content, why not hit the subscribe button. It'll help out me, and it'll help out you. So once again, thank you all. Until next time, I'll see you around.